Welcome to Visual Studio C Sharp tutorial. Today we are going to create an application like this. This is a list box. When I click in the list box, this text box showing the relevant data. We are going to develop an application like this one. To do it, we, we need two data set. First data set will retrieve the list of employee, and second data set will filter the relevant data to show in these text boxes. So let's do it. First create the data set. Data set. I am using the connection string of previous tutorial. Please view my previous tutorial to how to create a connection string. expanding the table selecting two columns ID and name data set employee list We need to create another data set. Data set employee detail finish now create a blank form add form from this name is from 3 let's modify the data set first a data set employee list data set designer configure we are not doing any insert update delete for this data set so um, omitting these options query builder execute query here is our employee list finish second data set is employee details we need to insert a parameter in this data set right click on it configure advanced option all items must be selected go to query builder add a parameter in ID column at the rate ID let's test the query oh it's showing data okay query is working fine now go to form 3 for detail select detail drag and drop it to form from toolbox select a uh, list box and drag and drop it to the form click here use data bound items data source must be 
employee list display member name and valid member ID we need to change program.cs our startup form is form 3 now run it you see this list box is showing list of employee but it is not filtering data when I clicking on the employee name so what to do let's see again go to form 3 double click on fill copy the codes from 3 double click on it it's even the selected index chance to paste the copy code and here let's just text box with uh, list box name let's check the what is the name of list box name is list box one one dot selected value now run the program again this time it is filtering data I think you have understood how to create this type of application please subscribe to my channel to stay connected if you have any question please comment below and don't forget to like it